close your eyes and watch your breath for a bit. Try to stay with the breath as continually as you can. All the way in, all the way out. And notice what feels good in terms of the breathing. Long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. You can choose what you want right now. Give the mind a place to rest. It runs around throughout the day. And its only rest is when it gets to sleep, and even then it doesn't really rest properly. It just stops for a bit. But if you keep it still and are mindful and alert at the same time, that actually strengthens the mind. And the mind needs strength to deal with all the things coming at it. Of course, it's not just things coming at it. It goes running out after things as well. This is something you have to check. We sometimes blame our greed, aversion, and delusion on the things outside, but the mind is often looking for things like that, and this is where we have online shopping. It's not that the computer turns itself on and forces itself into our eyes. We go turn it on. We look at it. We're out looking for things to get greedy about. Same thing with anger, same thing with delusion. They're things that we just want to go for. So not all the dangers are coming from outside. A lot of them are coming from within. So you need a neutral place right here in the present moment where you can watch these things and not get carried away. Because you want to be con in control of your life. You don't want these things to take over. You want to be the sort of person who looks at life and decide, decides, okay, this is what I really want out of it. This is something that's going to be really good. It's going to be really harmless. And you can focus your, your efforts in that direction. If you're not focused, you kind of wander around and who knows where you're going. So we have this life. Every year they tick off the years. We keep thinking, well, we've achieved a new year, but we're actually getting older. And the question is, what are we doing with our older, older bodies, older minds? Well, there's still a lot of good we can do, but we have to have a sense of direction. As the Buddha said, this is one of the blessings of life, and you bless yourself by giving yourself a direction, making sure that you're directed in the right way. So you want to take some time and look at your life and ask yourself, is this the direction I want to be going? If not, what can I change? Because there is an awful lot that's in your power if you take the time to train the mind so that it's on your side. The human mind can accomplish a lot. So try to have this neutral place inside where you're with the breath and a sense of well-being that goes with being neutral. It's not just empty and nothing. There's a sense of ease and fullness. And that feeds you so that you don't feel so hungry to go running out after things. But it takes some t time to develop this food, develop this inner stability. And then when you've decided on a direction that's really good, okay, you can stick with it. Because you have the clarity that comes from a centered mind and you have the strength that comes from a centered mind. And those are the two main things you need.